Well, tonight we are still waiting on a new batch of results for the August primary election, but we are still tracking a few different key races that could shape the future of the city of Spokane. So let's take a look at the results at this hour. There are five candidates vying to be the next mayor of Spokane, including incumbent Nadine Woodward. Currently, Lisa Brown is leading in that race with 47% of the vote. She is followed by Woodward, who has 39% of the vote. Washington is a top two primary state, and that means the two candidates who received the most votes in each race, regardless of party, will move on to the general election in November. Another high profile race that we are tracking is the race for city council president. We already know who is advancing to the general election, and that's because candidate Andy Rathbun dropped out of the race. That means Kim Pleece and Betsy Wilkerson will both be on the ballot in November. Right now, returns are showing Wilkerson with a 12 percentage point lead over Pleece. Both are looking to replace former council president Brian Beggs after he stepped down last month to become a Spokane County Superior Court judge. All right, now taking a look at the numbers in other Spokane City Council races. A seat is up for grabs in District 2, which represents South Spokane. Right now, Paul Dillon is ahead in this race with 41% of the vote. Then Katie Traylor is getting about 33% of the vote. So if these results hold, it looks like Dillon and Traylor will move on to the general election in November. Looking at the race for Council District 3, right now it looks like Kitty Klipsky is in the lead with 36% of the vote. And further back in second, Earl Moore with about 22% of the vote. Again, the top two candidates who get the most votes will advance to the general election in November.